The Spanish Civil War is a conflict that lasted from July 17, 1936 to April 1, 1939, and was a conflict of ideologies. Communist militias and fascist insurgents raged war upon each other after fascist factions led a revolt against the Second Republic of Spain, who began to implement liberal laws and ideologies within their government that the fascists did not prefer. After three years of brutal fighting between the two factions, the fascists would claim victory on the 1st of April 1939, and a fascist regime would be built in the years after the war. But could the Republicans have won the war? It is a question that has sat atop my head for quite some time, and until now, I have the resources to answer it. According to a paper titled, The Story of the Iron Column, Militia Anarchism in the Spanish Civil War by Saco Pinta, who gives an analysis on the accounts of anarchist revolutionary Abel Baez, he says that they could have won the war if they were just able to coordinate the war effort and the economy. However, this would not be the case. According to an analysis by the University of Wisconsin Press on the book Republic of Egos, A Social History of the Spanish Civil War by Michael Seidman, the paper being written by Maserat Miller, they give examples on why these could never have happened because, according to Miller on his analysis of Seidman's book, he convincingly argues that the nationalist superior ability to provision their military and civilian populations, its much greater respect for private property, and its success in maintaining monetary monetary stability ultimately proved decisive to the outcome of the war. He also shows that the Republicans were unable to wage an industrial war against the insurgency as they held all of the farmland to supply their troops and people. The Republicans' initial control over the main olive oil, wine, and citrus growing regions proved less advantageous in the challenge to keep soldiers and cities fed, despite the fact that these commodities served as vital exports, says Miller. Hunger was not the only problem for the Republicans, as their army was mostly built up of militia groups or bands of untrained soldiers formed from political parties and unions. The disorganization of these groups proved detrimental to a Republican victory, as militarization was staunchly opposed by many of the militia groups, as they feared that it would put an end to the egalitarian and democratic structures of the militias, and was regarded by the Iron Column as a critical counter-revolutionary victory, says Pinta. They believed the system in conventional armies to be hierarchical, and they would not allow their equality to be jeopardized. Abel Baez would quote George Orwell's book, Homage to Catalonia, where he voices his opposition of the hierarchical system in the conventional army. Revolutionary discipline depends on political consciousness, on an understanding of why orders must be obeyed. It takes time to diffuse this, but it also takes time to drill a man into an automaton on the barrack square. Yet despite the opposition to this system, it did not save them from ultimate disorganization. These factors proved detrimental to the defeat of the Republican army. With these vulnerabilities, they were taken advantage of by the fascists with their superior tactics, provisions, and organization of their military. The war was nonetheless brutal, with Spanish people being divided over political affiliation, leading to about 500,000 brothers, sisters, mothers, and fathers losing their lives in the squabble of politics.